Hey everyone, welcome back to the exam preparation series on AWS Cloud Practitioner exam. The exam code for the same is CLFC02. Now friends, in today's episode and in the coming episodes as well, I'm going to tell you technique through which you can identify the keywords and how to pick the correct answers. And yes, I can really assure you that these techniques will really help you to understand the question spot the correct answer and get high scores in the real exam. I will also give you AWS official documentation so that you can do some self-study and also validate the answer. So let's not wait further and let's straight away dive into the first question. So let's begin the part 22 with question number 186. The question is saying a media company wants to find and subscribe to third party data sources to enrich their existing data sets with new insights. Which AWS service would be the best fit for this requirement? And your options are option A, AWS Glue, option B, AWS Data Pipeline, option C, AWS Data Exchange, and option D, AWS Redshift. Now friends, in all these kind of questions, you really need to identify the key sections or the key words given in the question, and then you associate that keyword with the concepts given in the question. So let me show you how to do that. So here you can see these are the important sections of the question. You can see that here, find and subscribe to third party data source to enrich their existing data sets with new insight. And the important keyword, the actual keyword here is third party data sources. So keep this important keyword in your mind as I reveal the answer and then we check the documentation. You should be able to relate this keyword given here with the documentation. And now the correct answer for this question is option C, AWS Data Exchange. Now let's jump on to the documentation. Here you can see AWS Data Exchange. Now let's read what it says. It says that the AWS Data Exchange is on a mission to increase speed to value for the third party data sets in the cloud. So I hope you have already noted this keyword here, third party data sets. And further, you can also read that there is no other place where the customers can find the data files, data tables and data APIs from a vast portfolio of third party data sets. So this is what I was saying, my friends, you need to identify the keywords and then you relate those keywords with the concepts given in the question. Now let's also understand why the other options are not correct. Starting with the AWS Glue. Now friends, AWS Glue is actually the serverless data integration service that makes it easy for an analytics user to discover, prepare or move and integrate the data from multiple data sources. And in fact, you can actually use the AWS Glue to connect to more than 70 diverse data sources and manage your data. But then it is not the best fit for the third party data sets. Now let's move on to the AWS Data Pipeline. Well, the data pipeline which really sounds very close to the answer but it is actually designed to facilitate processing and transfer of the data between various AWS services but once again it is not the best fit for the third party data sources and then we have AWS Redshift well the AWS Redshift is a data warehouse so it's good for loading data and then performing analytics on the same but it is not good for finding and subscribing to the third party data sources and as always I will encourage you to read the documentation the links are given in the description box and now let's move to the next question. Question number 187. The question is saying a security admin needs to prepare a report which contains the following. Firstly, check if the MFA, which is multi-factor authentication, is enabled for the AWS account root user. And then we have Amazon S3 bucket permission status. Which AWS service help get this information in one place? Your options are Option A, AWS Trusted Advisor, Option B, Amazon CloudWatch, Option C, Amazon CloudTrail, and Option D, QuickSight Dashboard. Once again, I want to bring your notice to this important keyword here, which is prepare a report. And the only option that fits this requirement that can prepare a report with all these requirement is the option A, AWS Trusted Advisor. And on this documentation, you can read about the AWS Trusted Advisor that helps you optimize costs, increase performance and improve security and resilience and operate at scale in the cloud. And further, you can also read that the AWS Trusted Advisor continuously evaluate your AWS environment. And really, it's a wonderful tool. There is a very similar concept in Microsoft Azure as well. And as you can see here, some of the benefits of the Trusted Advisor, it aligns with the AWS best practices, it prioritizes the important recommendation, it also streamlines the collaboration across your organization, and it helps you organize the AWS resources at scale. And with that, let's move on to the next question. Question number 188, it says the company needs to evaluate its AWS environment and provide the best practices recommendation in five categories, cost, performance, service limits, 
fault tolerance and security which AWS service can the company use to meet these requirements and your options are option A AWS Shield option B AWS WAF option C AWS Trusted Advisor and option D AWS Service Catalog and now I am very sure if you read the documentation for the AWS Trusted Advisor really carefully you can really answer this question very easily and yes the correct answer undoubtedly is option C AWS Trusted Advisor and then we have question number 189 it says a startup is developing a web application where the users can find the articles based on various criteria such as the keywords authors or the topics and then they seek the AWS service that can handle this functionality efficiently which AWS service should you use your options are option A Amazon open search service and then we have option B Amazon SQS then we have option C Amazon Lambda and option D Amazon EC2. So what do you think the key sections of this question is? Well, it is this one. Find the articles based on various criteria such as keywords, authors or topics. And based on that, we can easily find the answer. Did you guess it as a Amazon EC2? No, it's a wrong answer because the Amazon EC2, it actually provides you with the secure, resizable compute in the cloud services. And this concept of Amazon EC2 is exactly the same as we have in Microsoft Virtual Machine. So this one here Amazon EC2 is not the correct answer coming to the Amazon AWS Lambda. Well, this one my friends is a very popular service. This is actually a serverless compute service for running your code without having to provision or manage any servers. So this is very similar to the Azure functions. Now moving on to the AWS Amazon SQS. Well, this service also my friends is a fully managed messaging queue service that really makes it easy for you to develop the decoupled or the scalable microservices and the distributed system. But this has nothing to do with finding of articles based on these criteria. So the only options left with is option A, Amazon Open Search Service. And in case you really want to understand more on Amazon Open Search Service, this is the documentation. And here you can read that this service helps you securely unlock the real time search monitoring and analysis of business and operational data. You can read all about this service given here. And as always, the links to all the documentation is right there in the description box. So please, please read the documentation. Now let's move on to the next question. Question number 119. It says a security engineer needs risk audits of AWS accounts by monitoring and documenting user activity and source IP addresses. Which AWS service can meet these goals? Your options are option A, AWS Shield Advanced, option B, AWS Trusted Advisor, and option C, AWS CloudTrail, and lastly option D, AWS X-Ray. And once again, my friends, cultivating the habits of identifying the keywords. So here it comes, risk audits of AWS accounts by monitoring and documenting user activity and source IP addresses. And based on this, the only service that fits in is option C, AWS CloudTrail. So what exactly is AWS CloudTrail? Well, the AWS CloudTrail is AWS service that helps you enable operational and risk auditing governance and compliance for your AWS account. So I hope you have already paid the attention on this keyword here, AWS account, and that's the keyword given in the question as well. Now coming to the other options given here, we have AWS Shield Advanced. Well, this service is a managed DDoS protection service that safeguards your application running in AWS. Coming to the AWS Trusted Advisor, well, we have already talked about this option in the previous questions as well. So I will directly jump to the AWS X-Ray. And the AWS X-Ray is a service that collects the data about the request that your application serves and provides the tools that you can use to view or filter or gain insights into that data to identify the issues or the opportunities for optimization. And seemingly very less people know about this AWS X-Ray service. So this is the documentation you can read on. AWS X-Ray is a service that collects data about the request that I just told you and then it gives you opportunities for the optimization. And how exactly it was? Well, the AWS X-Ray received traces from your application. In addition to the AWS services, your application uses the already integrated with X-Ray. So friends, as I'm repeating multiple times in all these kind of questions, you read the term, you read the question and try to identify some keywords, some important section given in the question. And you know, my advice to you is try to make a table, just a two column table on one side, on the left hand side, keep all the AWS major, major services. And then on the right hand side, you can keep single line definition of all these concepts. This really helps you. And also you can revise all these notes before you appear in the real exam. 
So those were the five questions for today. I hope you learned some core concepts of the AWS cloud. And also remember my friends, in case you're also learning Microsoft Azure, we have wonderful series on Microsoft Azure, AZ900, DP900, AZ104 and a lot more. Press that subscribe button and do not forget that small little bell icon so that you get all the timely notifications of all our upcoming videos and shots on both Amazon AWS and Microsoft Azure. And that's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.